Okay, everyone, welcome back to Breslev. We're right here at Shira David Baruch Hashem. Another beautiful minion we had today. Thank you, Hashem. Very nice minion, Baruch Hashem. And uh, again, we we'll always learn for uh, the well being of our chayalim, our uh, captives, chitufim, right? And, uh, and uh, Hashem should protect them all. Amen. And not have them keep going into those buildings. I, I don't understand why they keep sending them into these buildings. It's amazing. It's where the tunnels are. I mean, it's... No, they're going into, they send them into buildings instead of destroying the darn building. They, they send them in. Yeah. They, 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 they're, they're, they're not doing it. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. You have to go in there, it gets blown up anyway, yes. so might as well. They're booby trapping all yeah. these buildings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we keep it, they get, get losing sources. Hi, Hashem, please. Protect them. Yeah. Okay, so we're, we're learning here. Lekutei halachis. Um, we're in Hilchis Birchas Hashachar. Halacha Hey, and today we're up to Samach Hey. So sixty-five. Okay, that's where we're up to today. We started sixty-five, but we'll 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 do it again, and uh, we'll see if we can get. There. We'll see how far we can go. We'll do what we can do. All right. Okay, so so we we, we were learning about this idea about the pigeon. Right, getting a pigeon, going to a tzaddik, giving the tzaddik some money, right, and the tzaddik davens for the person to get a pigeon, right? right? We learn sometimes you go, you go to, you, you, give, you give them, you go to the tzaddik, and you give them your money, but you don't see any results. <coughs> you don't see results. So what are you supposed to do? So that's what we're going to learn about today, okay? Baal King. Therefore, the Rebbe says today in, in 65, if a person goes to the tzaddik, right, and he he gives him he 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 he, he, gets, he gets the pigeon from the tzaddik, but he doesn't see the sal he didn't get his uh, salvation yet. He still has his problem. Whatever he went there for. Right? Because in Chemayim, right, where, 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 which is where the pigeon comes from, like we all learned, right? So they, there's, there's, there's energy, the pigeon is some, some sort of an energy. It was created, right? It was created, the pigeon was created, right? Now because of that, the, in Chemayim they say, hmm, well maybe... There's other people, other things have to be done with this energy before this person needs his Yeshua. You understand? Could be there's other things that need it more, than more it's, a, it's a, a, a bigger priority. Okay? But now you shouldn't think, oh, well, you know, I went to the tzaddik, so it doesn't work. I don't believe in the, in the koyach of the tzaddik. I don't believe in the pigeon. Right? That's what happens to a lot of people. Right? They go to Tzadik, I mean, they don't know. They don't know. They, they see, oh, I, I went, I didn't, nothing happened. So maybe it's uh, not right. Maybe it's a scam. Or well, whatever. It's not, it's not working. It's not working. Right? But we don't, but let, let me just give you an example like this. Let's, we, we, like we can understand. So, you know, when people do uh, sin, they create these ma, ma, malach, ma, malachei chavola. They make these, uh, create these angels, these destructive angels. Right? Well, a person's davening to Hashem, he needs, uh, let's use a thing, he needs parnasa, right? He needs his sustenance, right? So he comes to the tzaddik and he needs a pigeon, he needs his, his sustenance. Okay? But then Shemaim, they're looking at and they see, hmm, this guy has a lot of angels. He's a lot of these destructive angels, you know, they're pointing their guns at him and they want to, they want to take his life. So what do we do now? Are we going to give him his sustenance, but he's not going to live? Are we going to give him his life? <laughs> so then we can, we're later on, give him his sustenance, right? You understand? We don't have no idea really what's going on. We don't, we don't know what's going on. We're asking for this, but maybe there's something much more important that you need that you don't, you don't even know that you need it. And it could have been from a former Gilgal, too. It could, whatever. We don't know. It, we have no idea. If something could have been going on right now in your life that you have no idea that's going on. You got, get your pigeon, but you get a salvation for that bigger problem, but you're thinking, but I didn't get what I wanted. <laughs> you understand? Just give me a way to look at it, right? Yeah. It could be something else you get a Yeshua for. You get, a, you get your salvation for something else that was much more important than what you were asking for, right? Okay, well, let's, let's see now. 
כי ישתם שו, אם זה הפדיה, נטייל אז גבוה יוי סהרבק, כשו לעשה סגרם. Now we know we're all, we're all working together in this, uh, in this, in this, um, in, in the world to, to bring Mashiach, to bring the world to its, uh, to, to, to bring the world to its uh, uh, final tikkun, right, that, that we're waiting for desperately, desperately for such a long time. And we know that there are different souls that have to be rectified. There are different gerim that come into Klai Yisrael that are supposed to come be part of Klai Yisrael. We learned how important that is, right? Because when you get more gerim in, you're bringing more cover to Hashem, right? The more people that become part of the, the fold, right? So you have more cover to our cover to This is what it's all about, right? So many times, a guy it goes to a, you go to the tzad, you get your pigeon, but they, the the the, 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 the the, the, the benefit of it at the moment seems to be go somewhere else. You don't, seem to, you don't see the benefit of it. You understand? That's, that's what we're saying, okay? Now, There will be to the person that brought this pigeon, the one that went to the tzaddik, and he'll see good. It, 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 it'll happen. It will come. It'll come to fruition later on. You have to just be patient, right? So, because the guy's going to say, "Listen, I went there. So, thank you, Hashem. You took care of these other things. But what about me? <laughs> what about me? I went to the tzaddik. I gave the tzaddik a nice sum of money, right? And I don't you see my Yeshua, right?" We were saying, yeah, don't worry, it's going to come. The Yeshua will come. You just have to be able to wait. You have to be able to wait. Right? The best way we can understand this is like this. Let me give it like this, right? When a lady becomes pregnant, do you see the baby right away? Hmm. You don't see the baby right away. You got to wait. Right. You got to wait, right? It takes time. You wait, then you start. Then so sooner or later, you see the Beit Hashem. Everything goes well, and then you see the child. Right? That doesn't happen instantly. Right? We're 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 we're, we're today in our life more so than even Rav Nussin did not, never experienced anything like this. Everything we want today is we push a button, instant gratification, right? And then if the thing is spinning a little too long, hey, wait, what's going on? It's supposed to work right away. <laughs> right? Never happened yeah. to you. Did I want something right away? Sure, absolutely. No, 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 no. You push a button. You push something. You're, you're, you're doing a, some kind of thing on the computer. You push a button. The thing starts to spin. Right, it broke. You know, what's go- no, it's not broken even. It's just taking it's another minute. Time. Takes another minute. Takes another minute. Takes another minute. Oh, what, 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 what's, what's, what's going on here? It's supposed to go instantly. <laughs> Can we rely on the tzaddik only and not... Pray for Hashem for what we need and of have a divine you pr- about of it. Of course, you can. Pr- you can always pray. No, but I mean, it seems like to it seems like if I give money to a tzaddik, does that relieve me of my uh, my obligation? No, to pray no, for no, 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 no. Being a lawyer. Yeah, exactly. That's per- perfect. Thank you, David. Yeah, you can represent yourself always in court, right? That's a good example, right? You're allowed to present pre- represent yourself, but you may not want to. Right? You may not want to represent yourself, right? Right? Look, look you're, you're an accountant, right? People can file their taxes themselves. They don't need an accountant. Nope. Any business, any person can file their own taxes. Right. Right? W- would you advise them to do that? Depends. In general, would you advise a people to do that? A person who's getting a refund, probably what? yes. Huh? Yeah, a p- single person who's getting a refund, whatever, I probably, because... A simple, yeah. A simple okay, thing. Oh, okay, but, but, but in general, you would say it's not a good idea, right? In general. Not, not, not spe- you, you have a specific cases. A guy's got a business, right? He's got a business, expenses, all of that stuff. But he'll do it himself. You recommend that? The software is so sophisticated today that he probably okay. could do it I'm just, I, okay. I, I don't mean to be... Here we go. No, no, here we go again. Here we go again. You, you want instant gratification, right? <laughs> But there's, a, there's an idea of going to getting professional help, right? Right? A person can, instead of going to the doctor, he can go online and can figure out uh, different things, right? He can do it. But, huh? Dr. Google, right? Well, but never mind. I don't want to... No, I want, I want to tell you something. Yeah. I want to tell you something really funny. Really, you say that, right? I was at a doctor, 
And I asked him a question. He so he took out his dick, so he types it into Google, and he reads me the answer. I go, wait a second, doctor, why am I going to you for? He says, no, no, because I, I understand the answer. He also says, I know. He says, I understand the answer they get. That's what he told me. Oh, well, he can understand the answer. <laughs> I mean, it sounds cute. <laughs> okay. How could Rav Nachman represent so many people, have so many clients? Yeah, how many? How can he? It's the tzaddik. He's a manager. Case we, we, learned, we learned about Moshe Rabbeinu. Yeah. Moshe Rabbeinu works for everybody. Yeah. Every Jew. Yeah. Well, what's the... Or the Rebbe. He's beyond time because he's... he's uh, yeah, yes, yes. In this world, <clears throat> we understand this, this time. Right, we understand yeah. time. So if I'm working with one client, I can't be with other people, right? You can't guide 12 different groups at the same time, right? You, right. You're one person. I can, only, I can only take out one group at a time, right? You can only take out one group at a time, right? But in Shemayim, there's no time. There's no concept of time. Or space. Or space or anything. So really, everyone can be taken care of at the same time. Let me ask you a question. On, on Rosh Hashanah, Hashem judges all the Jewish people. How many hours is it? <laughs> Hashem can judge all the people in one split second. In one split, in a fraction of a second. You know, we, we, don't, we don't understand that. We, right? Yeah, you know, see. Second is meaning. It's meaningless. Second, because that's time. Yeah. Second is time. Right? Well, how can you push the button in waves and it can tell you exactly where to go? Waves works for so many people at the same time. At the same right? time. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's one application. And we have a GPS. Hashem knows where everybody is. He knows where it is. Okay, let, let's look. Ki is kol adam tzarech zeh pidyana elyon. We 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 real every Jew, every person needs to connect to this pidyan elyon. Every single person needs different things in their life. There's no person that doesn't need to, salvation in their life. Whether it's for family themselves, it's for health, it's for for anything. It, it, everyone needs something. They need to connect to this pidyon alien. Everyone needs it. Which you can get from one of a few ways. There's a few ways to do it. Yeah, one we're learning. Is exotic, that's what we're learning. Yes. Right yeah. 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 The other is a guess directly from Hashem. You can get it directly Shema. from Hashem. Hi Yisrael, Koyis of Ochus Bnei Yisrael. Right. We're learning. Right. Shabbos, Ravid the Ravid. Right. Ace Rotzon. Right. Okay. Right. 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 It's probably best to play your cards, like, you know, put some money on all of those. Yeah, 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 why, why not? Yeah. <laughs> but no, but you have to believe in them. You see, well, you, you, you came in a little later. We said you have to really believe that even though you give the, you went to the tzaddik, and you gave the tzaddik, you got the opinion from the tzaddik, but you don't see the results. Yeah. So you're not supposed to think that, oh, the, the, the tzaddik's not doing his thing. The opinion may have went somewhere else, for something else that you need or somebody else needed that was a much bigger, uh, a much, uh, a much uh, a greater uh, uh, situation that was going on that needed to be rectified. And, and that's why, and that's why it, it went that way. But the Rabbi Nassim said, don't worry. You will still see your Yeshua, but you may have to wait. You may have to wait. But your prayer, your... your it works, Zelda, everything. Everything's heard. Else, but it may be... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You'll, you'll, see, you'll sooner or later you'll see the, 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 the. You just have to be patient. That's why I gave you the example of a lady that becomes pregnant, right? You don't see the baby for nine months, right? They just did it by the uh, words that she wrote. Yeah. Guy comes with a broken arm, but then somebody else came with the, you know, with the uh, heart attack. Heart attack. He gets, he gets. Hey, I was here first. I was here first, right? I was here first, right? I will still be here. <laughs> no, people, people will do that, right? Why, what do you mean? Why, why are you bringing it in? I was here for two hours. <laughs> My wife broke her kneecap. Nice. And, and she came to the, to the hospital. And it took like a day and a half until the rail was operating. And they said, oh, there was, there was, there was a car accident. It was this, it was that. Yeah. And she was lying there. You know? The doctor came at 11 30 at night. He said, <laughs> I've been in the operating room since 7 o'clock this morning. I can do you now. I would suggest you wait till tomorrow. Get, uh, I need to get some sleep. 
but sometimes, sometimes we have a different priority. Like there was a, a husband and wife had one cow that made the money, and Eliyahu came and killed the cow. Right, right, right. That famous story with Eliyahu, right? Right, right. Okay, okay. Here we say, We can, we can, we live and we have, we're, we're, we, 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 we stay in existence, right? Bifrat in this dark, bitter, this long, bitter golos. Sheikir kimenu, who are yedei atzadik amitim ha'elu sheyecholim bechol eis lahamshech eis rotzen. They can bring the, they can connect to the eis rotzen. And we know all the stories that you heard from the Kedusha's lady, right? All the different Kazaris and all the things. He was always taking care of the, he was always taking care of Klai Yisrael, right? The Kedusha's lady, the, the Reb Re- Re- Levi Yitzchak from Baditza, right? Okay. So he was always, he was known as the protector of Klai Yisrael, right? He would always know what was going on in Shemaim, and he would always ma- mitigate all the judgments. That's what, he, that's what he would do. That's what the Tzaddikim are always doing. The Tzaddikim are always mitigating the judgments on Klal Yisrael. Huh? No, Eiv Yisrael was the after of. That was the after of Eiv Yisrael. Rabbi Yeshua Heschel. Yeah, Rabbi Yeshua Heschel. The Helig after of. Okay, anyway, okay. Kibemes, Ikya ha Yeshua, Varachman, who lost of Vashem Yisbach, Uli he not sell, may I find this. The real, the main, the main salve, the main Yeshua that we need. Is to come back to Hashem, to to be to protect us from our sins, to, to uh, because because that's really where the problems are. In other words, when a Jew does a sin, he creates the the malach, the the, the these malach chavala. He creates these angels that are that are uh, against him, right? And uh, that's where the problems come from. So really, the whole thing is really to protect ourselves from sin is the greatest thing. Because then we don't have these angels that are trying to get at get us. All right? That's the main Rachmanus that we can ask Hashem for, to protect me from sin. Because we think we ask Hashem, I need, oh, I need my sustenance, oh, I need this, my, 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 my toe hurts, I need this, right? <laughs> right? And, but but we, don't, we don't realize, we don't, we're just treating the symptoms. What's the root of the problem? The root of the problem is the sin. sin. So we get rid of the sin, of course, the other things will go away. Right? Uh, Each person, according to their level, right, no matter where we are, no matter where you are on the spectrum, right, no matter where you are on this spectrum of Yid, of, 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 of Nishamas, of, of Yidin, right, Everyone needs Yeshuas. There's nobody that don't nobody nobody. There's no one out there that that's absolved that doesn't need Yeshuas, right? Becholes hanimshach may pidyon ha'elyon that comes from this pidyon and sheyalev mechina shmad lerotzen because all of us on some level are always need to be going back from we 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 veered from the path. <coughs> Any time you veer from the path. Of getting closer to Hashem, the Ratz and Hashem, and you went to the the side of Shmad, right? The side of Shmad, right? That's the side of 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 doing things against Hashem. And we said Moshe Rabbeinu is there in the middle, protecting us from the Shmad, bringing us back to the Ratz. So we're really begging Hashem all the time to save us from sin is the greatest thing that we can ever do for us. But Tzadik Oisa Pidyon Elyon, and the Tzadikim that they can do these Pidyon pid Elyon. Right, the tzaddik. We said that what, there are different tzaddikim that can do a pidyon that they know the judges in the different twenty-four courthouses, right? Yeah. Right. But there's one. There's some tzaddikim that know to how to do the pidyon elyon. They know to do that pidyon that goes that trans that, that that transcends all the courthouses. That goes higher than all of the courthouses, right? But it seems like I um, guess, that, yeah. that maybe I need to do tshuva. What was the sin I did that caused me to be having this experience? Mm-hmm. Kind of, you just made me think of that. Sometimes praying for something before you've done teshuva. Right, you to do teshuva and then the problem can go away. Yeah. Yeah. David the said, we say, Right, serve God with great joy. 
And then there's a comma in the, in the but, you know, Rabbi Nachman asks, so what do you mean, uh, serve God with great joy? What happens if something is going, is, you have, you have some, a problem today? What do you do? So the next, David Amela says, Bayu lefana birinana. Go, come to Hashem, go to Hashem with a great, with a song. Barina is a serious song. Not a joyous, necessarily a joyous song. It could be a song of joy, but it's more of a serious song where it'll bring the, bring the person to tshuva. Right? Sometimes you hear a good niggin, right? You hear that good song, and it can bring you to think, and you, th- you think because it takes you to that place of the oil of Manigin, and it can bring a person to tshuva. Right? So that's the whole point. The whole point is tshuva. Because then if the person does tshuva, so then he'll be able to have whatever problem will go away, because the problem's only there because he didn't do tshuva. Right? Okay? And song can bring you to joy. Song can bring you to joy, absolutely. Yeah. And on Shema, in Shemayim, they're always trying to figure out what this this uh, this pigeon that you went for. What is the greatest? What is the greatest bang for the buck they can get with this pigeon? Who needs it? Where does that Yeshua need to be done? And in Shemayim, Hakadosh Baruch Hu is is taking care of different things, even though you're the one that brought the pigeon. The last says, Gerim and Bale Tshuva, right? The greatest thing is to make Gerim and Bale Tshuva, right? Because again, when you, get, when you have Gerim, so then you have people that come from the, all the way from the lowest level of Shema, right? They're, they're serving other gods, right? Yisroi, right? Yisroi came from all the way on the bottom, and he came all the way up to the Ratzah. That's great. Yisroi? Yisro. Yisro, oh yeah, Yisro, okay. Yisro. Okay, true, and, and, and to do... That is, yeah, it, it, that's true, but, but again, but if, if, if a guy can, uh, it can come back, come into the fold and to become a Jew, that makes, that makes in other words, that's more tikkun for the shamas. Right, because that that person then that guy now gets a a, a, a neshama, right? He gets a neshama with all the systems, right? He gets the nefesh, a ruach, neshama, chayi, yechida, right? The whole system he gets that. So now he's, we're redeeming another soul. It's going in somewhere. There's this another soul that has a, a body that that can that can that can elevate it. You understand? Okay, okay. Kishenasin ayedei hamtokas hachar enaf. Because again, what's going on? There's always that anger in Shemai. Whenever we do the wrong thing, so the judges are angry at us. Why are you doing the wrong thing? You're in the world. You're supposed to serve Hashem, right? These judges are all angels, right? So they, they don't understand. They don't understand what's going on in the world, really. They don't understand the, the idea with the Yitzhara and all of the enticements that we have in the world, right? But they just see the, the end result. Hey, he, the guy failed, <laughs> so he's angry. Right? But you can, you can have the hamtokas achar enough. You can have the sweetening of the anger, the judgment through, through the pidyon elya. And in that place is where all salvation comes for, from, whether it's something physical or it's something spiritual. All salvation comes from that place. Right? When we feel that way, when we come to a level that we feel like God's not in us, right? We can come to that level, right? A Jew can fall down and think, well, listen, I'm so low, Hashem's not with me. But we understand that really Hashem is everywhere. And it can't be that anyone is ever without Hashem. Hashem is in every level, no matter where he is, because that person has his neshama. So it doesn't make a difference. Oh, okay. Who bechin is char enough? Al yedei hapidya nimtak hakol nimshach and kol Yeshuas. That's how all the Yeshuas come from. Again, when you come to that great pidyan, rak to trichin lis mameya kitzas. You have to wait. <laughs> Here you go. You need patience. Patience. You have to wait a little bit. 
Don't worry, Hashem will get to your, your, your problem. But even like I gave you the example before, you may even have another problem that's going on in your life that you don't even know about, that you need a Yeshua for. You go to the Tzaddik and you tell the Tzaddik, hey, I need my Parnassah, right? But you don't realize that you have all of these, uh, 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 all of these mal- Malachi Chavola that are, that, are, that are trying to knock the person down and take his life. So here Hashem takes, saves the guy's life and he's thinking, wait, 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 you didn't give me my partner, Hashem, what's going on? No, no, Lisma me, you have to wait. Just wait, just wait. Hashem knows what he's doing. He knows what he's doing better than you think you know, better than you, better than you know what you need. Hashem knows what you ultimately need. And that's a, these are beautiful words. In other words, if you have if you have amuna and you're going to wait, sooner or later you will see. Sooner or later you will see your salvation. But you have to wait. Don't think it's going to come. You're not going to have instant gratification. So look what he has. He brings a pasuk from from Mishlei. Ba'or pinei melech, right with the uh, with the light of the uh, the face of the king, Chai, the living king. The ritzoyne ka'av umalkash is like a is like a cloud, right? Ka'av is a cloud, right? Umalkash is a rain a rain cloud, a rain cloud, right? The way what does this mean? So look what he says now. Zed nemer al hamshochas harotz and anal bekavonis she. Shehem bechinas tikune de dikna, or the chayre ain't I moving in yon have tocha zois or it's only kaova malkas. I don't understand. We, we want a sunny day. Why do we want a, a cloudy day? What's, it, what's, what's he saying? The penei or penei Hashem. Look at the words. But or penei melech chayim over it's only kaova malkas. I like the malkash, I like the rain, right? We need the rain. Rain brings us every, we brings us all our fruits, vegetables. We have everything, blossoms, everything. We need rain. But what do I need the cloud for? What do I need the cloud? What's going on? Look what he says. Ka'aloi ava anan heim koshim ladam. Isn't clouds, uh, you know, it's a, you know, on a cloudy day you feel a little bit more lethargic, right? You don't feel as energetic, right? The clouds is not the, it's not the best thing for us. Uh, right? Chazal say, Chazal say it's a difficult for us to have a day, a cloudy day. A cloudy day is something difficult for us. So then why, why does, uh, does, does the Pasuk say, why does the Pasuk say, that if you're going to see the Pnei Hashem, Ba'or Pnei Melech, Chaim Ritzayne Ka'ov Amalkash, the Pasuk Yemiz, what's going on? Clouds is not a good thing for people, so why is that part of the blessing? Ach, Hu Al Pi Anal Ki Ha'ov Kosha La'odam Betchila. A cloud is difficult for the person in the beginning, right? When it's cloudy, at the moment it's cloudy, it's difficult. But when the rain comes down through the cloud, the rain cloud, we were talking about that before, right? The winds come and blows the cloud, right? And then the cloud is there, but it seems difficult and it's cloudy. I don't see the sun. I don't see Hashem's light because it's cloudy, right? I don't see... Right? No, but you're grateful that the cloud is there because it's going to rain. I understand. Wait a minute. You get, you, you, you're jumping the gun, right? And the rain will certainly give me life. Right? I need water. Right? When it rains, we have water to drink. We have, we have water for, 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 for the irrigation of our fields. We'll have vegetables. We have fruits. Everything that we need comes from the rain. Through rain. Through all the different forms of rain, Yaira, Malkish, different forms of rain, that's how we get our brachas. That's how we get our brachas. Because of the Yiftach Hashem Lechois, Oitzway Atoy, Losais, Mita Arzacha, Beitai, Ulevarech, Es Kol, Masa Yodecha. Isn't that a nice passage? In, in the Varim, right? Yiftach Hashem Lechois, Oitzway. Hashem will open up for you his, his uh, um, uh, treasure. Right? Hatoy, this good treasure. Lose smita artsakha give the the rain for the for the for the earth, the rain. Be in the proper time. That's an amazing thing. 
right? You don't want rain. You don't want rain when it's a, you want rain in the planting season. That's when you need the rain. You don't want the rain later on. Right, is called Masa Yotchan, and we want the blessing of everything that we do. Okay, now look what he says now. This is amazing. Malkush. That's the Av and the Malkush, the cloud and the rain. The rain comes later on. It doesn't come right away. It can be cloudy for a while, but you don't see the rain. That's the same way when you get you go for your pigeon. Right, you go for your pigeon, and you gave him the, you gave, you got your pigeon from the tzaddik, right? You gave him the, you got your pigeon, but you don't see anything yet. But don't worry, you, you have to be misfame. You have to wait a little bit. You'll see. Because the Yeshua that comes from that place, who Yeshua shleim alenetzach, ach ba biichos man ktsas. You know, you're not look, you're looking, uh, the person is thinking he needs something for right now. He's not looking for the, he's not looking for the eternal aspect of it. But Hashem wants always the real, the best for us. Right? He wants the best for us. And HaKadosh Baruch Hu is going to, is, is working on giving you the real true Yeshua. So the same way when it's cloudy, clouds are not good for us. Right? We, we don't want clouds. We want rain. Right, but the cloud, we know if you understand that the cloud is there, but the cloud eventually will give you rain, so too my pigeon eventually will come through, will come to fruition, and I'll get my pigeon if I, the same way that the rain comes. That's why, and Vahoven, and make sure you understand this, Rav Nassim says. Understand this concept. All right, so you go to a tzaddik, you get a pigeon, right? You walk out, this is great. Tomorrow morning, everything's going to be great. <laughs> and then it's the same thing. But what happened? <laughs> okay, so that's the same way. When you see a cloud, but you don't see rain, sometimes it can be a couple of days, cloudy days, cloudy days, right? It doesn't rain. And then all of a sudden, it starts to rain. Ah, and that's how the Yeshua comes in. Almost sometimes you, th- you forgot about it. Well, you see rain. No, sometimes you even forgot about it. It was a while ago. You went to the tzaddik, you got your pigeon, you... And then it, you, it slipped your mind that you were even there. And then you see the salvation comes in. Where, where, where did this come from? <laughs> and then you think back, oh, wait a second. I went and I got my pigeon. <laughs> and why did I pay him for this? I got it anyway. I got it anyway. <laughs> it never goes to waste. It never goes to waste. No, because in, in Shemaim, they're figuring out, they're going in Shemaim, they're figuring out where, 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 where it'll be best fitted. Where is it best suited at this moment? You may be pulling a grandparent out of uh, Gehenna. With that period. Even though that's not what I came for. You don't know. Right? No, but Hashem, but you, you, that's not what you came for because, again, we come to the tzaddik with limited knowledge. So we think we're asking for something that we need. We think it's something, that, but, 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 but if the person's asking for panasa, but his life is at stake, shouldn't he be asking for his life? Not worrying about his panasa? The panasa is important, right? But if the guy's life is at stake, isn't that more important? But he doesn't know he has... He doesn't cancer. even know. He doesn't even know he has cancer cells ready to merge. Mm-hmm. So he prays for Pranasa, and Hashem says, I'm going to take that prayer, and I'm going to cure you. you, you got pre- I'm going to prevent your cancer from happening. Amazing. That's a good, that's a good example, David. Right, mm-hmm. right. That's a very good example. Right? Okay, you understand? Yeah. So never, never, never think that you, 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 you got a pigeon alien... And it's not gonna. It's not coming to fruition. It will. You just have to be able to wait. So, yeah. I have a little trouble. I don't really want to complain. Okay. So don't complain. I don't want to, or I don't want to hear a complaint about the weather. You don't want to hear. Okay. No, because it's like I'm grateful for the weather we have. Okay. It's like we should. It's like I'm, when we talk in this way, <clears throat> it seems like we're suggesting we should just suggest be grateful for everything. Of course, we have to be grateful. Well, but this, when we talk about this, we get a little down in the rain, blah blah blah. No, I'm happy about the cloud. No, 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 no. Rav Nassim is giving you an example of how yeah. you can understand how a pigeon works. That's why he's explaining to you this way with the cloud. So the Chazal tell us that a cloudy day is not good for people. People like people. People feel more. They have more energy, <laughs> a, a more more a, a greater outlook on a sunny, bright day. And there were studies done like that, right? 
sure. cloudy days, you feel a little but more that doesn't mean you a little cannot, more sluggish. But that doesn't mean you can't create energy for yourself on you a cloudy can. day. But in general, I'm an idealist. You know, just because everyone else is feeling bad, that doesn't mean we have to feel bad. Okay, but so okay, so then so you you want to, so you'll write your safer. Okay. And you'll explain how how you how you can explain the pigeon in your way. Okay, so how would you explain how would you explain that you go to the tzaddik and you don't get your Yeshua right away? You got your pigeon, but you didn't get your Yeshua right it's away. Just like an economist. He's saying the stock's gonna go up. Right. He, the only thing the problem he's off on the timing. He's off on the timing. He's off on the timing. Okay, and now what? So you just have to be patient, wait for the right time, it'll come. But he's saying more than that. No, he's no no. No, it's more than that. The, you're getting a Yeshua right away. It's just not necessarily what you asked for. There are things, it's beneficial right away yeah. when yeah. you go for the pigeon. But you don't necessarily see it. The right. same way when the cloud is up there and the rain is in there. But I don't know there's rain in there. I have no idea what's right. going on. I don't know how Hashem is saving me from all of these things. Right? right, we don't. And sooner or later, it'll come down. I'll see something, and I'll benefit by it, and I'll recognize, and I'll realize that it was all good. Right. However, when we do the Amida, yeah, it doesn't necessarily. The Amida always helps someone, and it may not be us. It could be someone a Jew in China, yeah, for example. And we have to have faith that whatever we're doing is benefiting ourselves or someone. Yeah. Okay. Let, let, let's 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 go, go on. Let's go on. I thought he was going to be going. Yeah. Yeah. Kolos, kolos, koshes. Right, right. Kolos, kolos, koshes. Right, Chazal said, kolos, kolos, koshes. But here, all well, the beginnings are difficult. To start something off is difficult to get it here. going. No, no, that's what you said. Yeah, I thought I saw that word kosher. No, no, no. But, but you're right, I thought, I thought that's where he was going to be going with. No. Hey, you see the clouds, don't worry, you're on the right track. It's Mineo, it's because they're, 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 yeah, no, but it's even more. That. No, but it's even more it's, than that. It's even more than that. There are things going on that are benefiting so much. Benefit that's going on because of that pigeon, but you didn't see it yet. You understand? Yeah. There's a lot of things going on to help you and oh, to help Claudius roll in general. And yeah. there's a lot of benefits going on based on that pigeon. But again, Hashem figures out what needs to be dealt with first. And then he'll get to your problem when he sees that all the other ones were taken care of. Then he'll take care of your problem. You understand? That's what we're trying to understand here. That a person should never go and to get, go to a tzaddik and get a bracha from a tzaddik, get a pidyon from a tzaddik, give the tzaddik some money and, and get the And then he says, where's, where's my... Uh, where's my uh, so usual? eventually it'll always come to us, something will come to us and we'll be aware that because it was the... The no, but no, we, we want to be aware. That's what we're learning, so we could be aware. But, but so it's not. But what I'm hearing is it's not possible that there won't we won't benefit at some point in time. It you seems will. To me that we, you will benefit. We'll you benefit will now. But yeah. We don't know it. We don't know it. So it's a guarantee. I mean, it's it's, it's a guaranteed help in one way, shape, or right. right. shape or form. Guarantee to guarantee. Right. But so maybe it's someone it's a net benefit. But you don't, it, you oh, don't, uh, a net right. benefit. Net there benefit. we go. A net benefit. Yeah, so, you know, I Very drove cool. out there. I had to wait in line. <coughs> yeah. I, I, I had to take cash out. I don't know where he really went to. He mumbled some words. You know, he wrote something on a paper. I, I mean, I don't know. And I'm skeptical. I'm, I'm, I mean, what a waste. <laughs> right. Who knows what else I could have been doing? The truth is, you want to ask that. Like, I don't know. You know, but like, what, 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 a, what a waste of time. But, but no, no, it's not. It's not. There's things that are happening behind the scenes that you don't know. You're not privy to. That are that way. If you would know, if you would only yeah. know, if you would only know what was going on, yeah, you would never, you would never leave the tzaddik. You're the getting tzaddik. another pigeon, another pigeon, another pigeon. You yeah. would just keep getting just, another pigeon. Just, just from a technical side, when you have uh, gotten a video, <laughs> do you physically go in and say, hey? You know, to the Saudi that you're going to, or the physical human being that you're at, I'm looking for a pigeon. Yeah. I remember like, when we go to Uman, they, you know, they had these announcements saying, you know, everyone come for a pigeon, come for a yeah. pigeon. And sometimes these guys, you know, they, they would write your name down. Yeah. And uh, I, I don't know. But it depends who's giving you the pigeon. 
Depends who yeah. you're going to for the pig. Yeah, yeah. So I'm saying. So I'm if saying, you're going to a guy that's looking to make a little money and uh, he's not really. Uh, <laughs> ah, he's saying he knows. He knows about this. Whole thing. No, he we're talking about you go. You, you're going to a to a to a to yeah. a tzad. So you're I'm saying so you've gone. You've gone to tzaddik, correct? Yes. Okay. And you ask him personally, physically. Hey, by the hell on, I'm for it. So let you know, I'm here for a pigeon. Yes. I'm not here for your stom regular bracha. Yes. So you're, you're going to a doctor. You don't tell him, you tell him what's wrong. No, no Arab Rosh Hashanah, we all go to get a pigeon. From Rav Nachman. From Rabbi Nachman, but you go you go to a living person. Oh, so you, you, you personally yes. will go to a living human. Yes. And say to him what? I want a pigeon. Okay. I need a pigeon. Okay. And he'll say, and usually he'll say back to you, and there's a, 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 a formula that's already set up. Rav Nassim, Rav Nassim wrote a formula for it. So it's that it will, will say over the words, okay. right? And I'll mention your name, your children, and whatever it is, and they'll make the pidgin elia. And you give money normally before? Yes. All right. And, uh, do you tell him what it is you want a pigeon for? Or you don't. You, you no, know, because if you're getting a pi- no, the, you see again, if you're going for a pigeon for a certain thing, but then there's the pigeon yeah, Elia. That's right. I want that and pigeon Elia. They'll figure it out, for, they'll yeah, figure yeah, it out right, for me. I don't know what I need. I don't know what I need. Well, the thing I know I need is I need to be saved from sin. That I know I need. Because if right. I say I'm yeah. saved from sin, then I have all. Then, then I then I'm, I'm I'm right away on the right track. Right, but but again, what I need Yeshua is for that. I, that's I leave that up to the tzaddikim. And th- this paragraph that, that the tzaddik reads is a key. Like you hear it so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He says it. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 And sometimes it might only take yeah. I don't know three minutes. Five what the what the the, 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 the that you get from the tzaddik? The thirty seconds. <laughs> and then you move on. I mean, there's probably someone else behind you that also wants a pidyon. Yeah. It's also true in Ashram. We say, yadecha. there are things that we get that we don't even know that we need. That's right. Right. Okay. That's all. Okay. We got it. We, I think we understand it. Okay. Good. Now look at this. V'zeu yachel Yisrael el Hashem ki Hashem hachesed. We say this in, in, in the... We're saying to tell him every day, right? Kuf Lamed. Right? Kuf Lamed. We're saying the... We, we say these words, right? We know these words, right? You know these words? You say this, the words... Right? We we know these words. Yeah, what? Yeah, 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 yeah. In other words, we are we are we are we are we are longing, we are pining for our Kodesh Baruch Yachel Yisrael El Hashem Ki Hashem Ki Im Hashem Hachesed. It's all your Chesed. We want the Chesed of Hashem. Shemuvade Yase Chesed. Ach. Uh, uh, right? And then we say, then, then, then we say, right? Pedus, pedus. What's pedus? Pidyon, right? From the word pidyon, right? You need a lot of things. You need a lot, a lot of different Yeshuas. So Hashem, you're not going to see the salvation right away, miyad, right away. Hey, I say the words, Hashem, give me, come on, here we go. I, I, I paid, give me, give me, give me my, give me. The tzarech rak liyachel Hashem, you have to wait for Hashem. You have to, you have to hope that Hashem is going to take care of you and give you what you need. You have to really hope for Hashem. Ki hu yizbarach marbe. How Hashem is going to save me from something much greater than I think I need saving from. We don't know. We don't know what's waiting for us. The other thing is sometimes He does give it to us right away. And I know for me it helps me with my immuna and my faith. So I can wait for these other times when I know I may have to wait a little bit. Okay. Listen, we live, in a, we live in a cuckoo world, right? We have no idea how many times we were riding on roads and these Hamas guys were riding alongside of us. We have no idea, right? Yeah. Would you have any idea? Yeah. How many times Hashem is protecting us? We, do we have any idea what's going on? You know, I, 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 if I told the story, you'll tell me. But, uh, you know, my daughter is in, my oldest daughter, Dahlia, is 23. She's in Modine. 
in the Rain base. The Rain base was taken over by terrorists on October 7th. A lot of her friends were killed and captured. She had finished her service five months before. Mm -hmm. She was ready to start university, travel the world, she had a whole plan. But that Shabbos, she gets a call by 7 a.m. already. She better call the Tzav Shimon to come in. They don't say, well, she figured there were a bunch of rockets, but her sirens, that's what she normally deals with, fine. Another guy from her unit lives here in a little shoot. He's honking the horn, let's go. Comes oh, he went to pick her up. He went. He, he came, went. Yeah, he came he back came to pick to, her up, which was very, very nice. Was very him. nice. You know, that's 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 a strickle out of the way. Right. That's that a lone schmutz to come back to. This is going to come back. Might have saved your lives. This will come back at the end of the story. This particular. Okay. Okay. Up. Okay. He came, comes back to get her, and because we had to wake her up, and she's like, "Okay, hold on, I'm a girl. I'm just trying to get ready." And that's that. He's going bananas, but she took some time, and uh, they're driving down there. You know, we're rushing down there, and they're about 15 minutes away from their base. Okay, now that base is again on Route 232, right next to Nova Site. It's on the border. And they get a text from their commander who says, Don't come in, I just got shot on the roads. What? They, 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 put them, they really, they use that on WhatsApp, not on an official Sava thing. So, you know, they pull over, what? and they end up going to some outside base in the area, just outside of Opakim, Omishmar Negev, and, uh, they you know wait to prefer their thing and in the end they realize what was happening on the road so on and forth and a few hours later they get taken an armored personnel carrier into their intelligence space she sees all the destruction and terror and bodies and everything and you're wow this guy that sent out this message to her momish you know like, like saved their life. life this is absolutely incredible you know it's an incredible guy i'm a teleshomer we speak about it regularly yeah. and i usually have my guys that i visit and so on and so forth I, none of them were around for whatever reason that this guy that guy so I started talking to someone else in the middle of the hallway and uh, see him limping and, I, oh, what's your story? He says, oh yeah, I got shot. I have a shot, you know, shot in the leg. I said, where, where, where are you going? I'm going to the rainy base. Oh, my daughter's in the rainy base. Uh, um, I'm an intelligence. I said, well, so, you know, so is she. I'm only for the northern section of Gaza. I said, and I pull out a picture of my daughter. I said, oh, I'm, I'm her commander. And I said, wait, wait a second. Are you the guy that went ahead and, and text her and text her that what's up yeah. so he like got even like a little embarrassed. he's like yeah you know that, that that was me and i broke down crying in front of my group I was, you, you're the guy that saved your life this guy this guy matan from modin who's married three kids an intel manager beautiful shot in the leg bleeding out for six hours he goes i thought i was dead for sure you know the leg you know what blood is there's artery if you're gone and 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 then hiding in a bush right behind where all the terrorists are shooting and killing everyone and until he finally gets rescued. And he had enough sense and then enough koach to actually use that precious, you know, and to send out that message. To save that them. Mom is See that? He's a Yeshua, so I'm trying to explain to you this. Yeshua, so there are things we have no idea yesterday, going on. We have no had, idea. Yesterday they had a, uh, a, a uh. base, like a, you know, a, a yom, uh, they had a psychologist come in and they had some fun things for all of them to talk about everything yeah, that yeah, happened yeah, in their yeah, unit. Yeah. And so the, the psychologist says, okay, now everyone say something nice to somebody else, you know? So this guy from Alon Shu, who had to come back to pick her up, said, well, I want to thank you, Dahlia, for saving my life. You know, <laughs> and he said, but because yeah. I lost 20 minutes. That's why we didn't get back to get you. And I was honking like a fool, you know, get, trying to get you out. He took another 10 minutes until you got ready. And you know, and that was like, these, these are the things, we don't know it. We have no idea, we have no idea, but Hashem is taking care of us. Please, you have to understand and believe that. Yeah. And Yossi just told us the story. He has a, it is, everyone has stories like that. Right. But I'll say even better, look, we ride all over, right? There's, there's crazy people all over, anywhere you live, right? Go in America, they, they shoot, they go into schools and they shoot people up, right? It's a normal thing, yeah. right? They go into school and shoot. <laughs> Right? It's, it's crazy, right? It's crazy. So these same guys are on the road, right? They, this same guy is on the road with his guns and everything. Why, why didn't he shoot the... We have no idea. We have no idea what's going on. We have no idea. Why I was supposed to be in that place and I wasn't in that place, right? I have no idea. Like Rabbi Rietti mentioned one. He says, think about all these little kids that are running around these tables in your living room or dining room, and they all have pointed corners on these tables and none of them ever hit the corners. Yeah, I'll tell you something that happened with us. I'll tell you something that happened with us. No, it's amazing. Uh, my, my, uh, my wife and I and our family were in Europe at bef at the, uh, a week before 9-11. We were there a week before 9-11. And, uh, 
And the school had sent us a message that they were starting school a little earlier. <laughs> Whatever it was, I don't remember what it was. They were, they were gonna start uh, a couple of days earlier. And was, so I said to my wife, well, what are we gonna do? Our ticket is, is a, a week later. <clears throat> Our ticket's a week later. Our ticket was actually 9-11. We were supposed to be on the Washington Dulles flight. Wow. We had a ticket actually on that Washington Dulles flight. Wow. Yeah, <laughs> ticket, we had actually a ticket on that flight. Yeah, we had a ticket on, but whatever, the school sent the thing, so we changed the flight, and we came back a week early. <laughs> it's unbelievable, right? We don't know. Hashem is taking care of everything. Mamish, he's taking care of us, and we have to believe that. We have to believe that. And maybe he did all this so you could uh, teach something today. I, I, give I me have a no patience. idea. Give me a little patience. I have no well, idea. You are, you are uh, inspired from that. You know, oh my gosh! I'm sure you stopped telling the Hashem. This one at least was a biggie, and it's a, a revealed biggie. Oh my goodness! To me, so like, well, well, listen, your story, your story with your daughters is a revealed biggie, also. So yeah, yeah yes. Well, so, so now, so now, then the well, the story you just said that's very big, to, big, big. To remember that and just to stay with it and let it, like, oh my gosh, Hashem revealed. Let it, it resonate, yeah, yeah, yeah. Resonate yeah. And, and 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 change my life for for better in serving Hashem. Yes, yes, you think about it. You went to the Tel Shamir at that That's time. True. When that That's guy true. was walking, he could have been in a pool somewhere, whatever. You may have never met him. That's right. That's right. He, Mama, she set it up perfectly yeah. that your group wanted to go there. Yeah. It was just that time. Yeah. And, and they with their s drinks and their sandwiches. Yeah. And they, 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 right. they'd be right there at that, right there at time. that time. And you met him. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. That's Hashem pulling the strings, all of those things. Hashem is mezavig zivug, yeah. right? The Gemara says in Brachas, Hashem. What he asks, what is Hashem busy doing? He's being mezavig zivug, right? Do you remember the Gemara says that he's mezavig. What does that mean? He's walk. making yeah. No, he's you making meeting connection. this guy yeah. and not meeting this yeah. guy. And <laughs> you know what's nice also is like when you learn Torah, yeah. and and then you see it somewhere else. You learn something yeah. abstract, yeah. yeah. And then like oh, it came up. So like that, I'll have a laugh of like okay, Hashem, if you're really funny. You know, you're, you're, no, that's, that's a pat on the back from Hashem. Pat, right. Yeah. Your, your, your group got something you could never have planned. Yeah, right. You never that, that, yeah, that's just another second. You may have ended thing. up putting more money in your pocket, too, as a result. You know, it's funny. It, 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 it's truth as it did. It's going to be that, bigger. No, in that particular case, it's true. They left me a whole bunch of stuff. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I see that. You're yeah, right. you gave them a, they had a tremendous experience with you. And they're going to yeah, they're, they're grateful for it. <laughs> that's true. Look what he says now. Ki ein bal hanes makir benisai. Look at this. You know what that means? Ki ein bal hanes makir benisai. The person that has a miracle that happens to him doesn't recognize the miracle always. They don't recognize it, right? At the moment, right? Like your daughter and I didn't recognize. So I had a flight on a, a ticket on a flight. What, what was the big deal? You know, <laughs> there's a miracle going on here. I had no idea, right? Your, your daughter had no idea. That guy in the car is blowing the horn. He had no idea. He thought, "I'm the rabbi. We got to get there. We got to save. We got to get there quicker." What are you doing? <laughs> look, look at how many close calls we each have driving. Right, we've all had millions of close calls. Right, I mean, we could have been killed in a second. But but look at this. Mashehu Yisbarach Poide Es Yisrael Al Yedei Apidyon Elyon Shel Atzadikim Mikol Avay Noisa Shezer Bechinas Asir Es Geirim. The same idea. Again, he's using the idea of Geirim because that's the that's the ultimate. That's the ultimate Yeshua when we can bring other people back and then those people become part of Klai Yisrael and they give and they, and, and they, and they, bend and they help Klai Yisrael. Let's think about it. We, we mentioned, we learned last week about Rabbi Akiva. Rabbi Akiva is Ben Geirim, right? Yeah. With the great Rabbi Akiva, right? We have Torah Shabbat Peh today because of Rabbi Akiva, right? The Torah we have is because of Rabbi Akiva, right? In, in his credit. And where does he come from? Oh, Ger. Wow. David Amelech. Right? We want to know about Gavin, right? David Amelech. Rus. His mother was an Arab. His grandmother was an Arab. <laughs> yeah. She was. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. You see that? 
but but that's but that's okay. But who if this you saw me call a very nice of and I call this boy who gives us a pigeon. He can be podas. He can give us. He can redeem us from all of our sin because that's the greatest thing. Ayadei a pidyon through the pidyon. We all can srichim lahamtin. We begin as yachli yisrael el Hashem. You have to wait. You have to wait. You have to be patient. Be patient and know and have the betochen. That's the betochen. See, a moon is I know Hashem is taking care of it, but the betochen is where I where I where I where I where I where I demonstrate what I believe. Right, I demonstrate what I believe. I believe as I believe. You, you can't, you can't have, you can't have betochen without a muna, but you can have a muna without betochen, right? But, but, but we have to have that betochen, right? You know what betochen is, right? But it's the difference between a muna and betochen. A muna is I believe in something. That's a my belief. But betochen is when I demonstrate what I believe. Right, so you act on it. You, you act, act on what believe. you believe. Exactly, perfect. Right, Yachi Yisol Hashem Kimayshe Kosev Tchila Nafshi Hashem Yishoyim Labayke Yishoyim Labayke. Like we say in the thing, Kivisi Hashem Kivsa Nafshi. Right, look at the words we say. I'm, I'm, I'm hoping. I'm, 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 I'm. Uh, what, what word we'd like to use for Kivisi? I'm, I'm hoping. I'm pining. I'm, I, I, I want a Kodesh Baruch Hu. Right, I'm, I hope for. Right, Chazde Hashem Ki Loi Somne Ki Loi Cholu Rachama. Wow, you really got all the hits. You see, nice, right? All these nice. <laughs> we said this before. Where, where do you think all these hits came from? Yeah. Hashem. Chazay Hashem kilo isam nu heim bechinas chasadim harabim am nimshachim mei rotsa in elyon ayadei pidyon elyon. All the all everything comes from this pidyon elyon. Whether we want to, listen, Rav Nassim is giving us the, really the inner workings of the way the world works. That's really what he's telling, explaining to us. That really all pigeon, all pigeon comes from this pigeon alien. And when we connect to the pigeon alien, when we can connect to that, and then we're going to learn tomorrow about Shema Yisrael and the 25 letters, all of that, we're going to learn how we can do this on a regular basis ourselves. Now we can try to connect with the pigeon all the time. Okay, Shesham Bechines Chasodim Rachim Im Rabim Kayadua. Ach Srichin Lahamtin Bechines Toy Viachel Uduma. I have to be Viachel and be quiet. I have to be quiet and just wait and watch that Kodesh Baruch Hu will take care of what I need. Right? The whole Ma She Yeschazek Yoise Lekavois Lahashem. The more I hope for, and I and I and I and I desire in Hakadosh Baruch Hu's the, the, the salvation, livli litchoi kesasha. But I can't push the envelope. I can't push the time. I have to be able to wait. I have to wait. I can't be daicha kesasha. I can't bring the. I can't make things happen quicker than they're supposed to. Things will will, will manifest in the in the in the proper way, and it'll happen, and it'll it'll be the right Yeshua. You want something now, you may not, it may not be what you really need. But trust that Hashem knows what is it is. Through me having my ki, I, I desire, I hope, my emuna, and I have my betochen, Yeshua will come uh, 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 hopefully sooner, hopefully sooner than later. But let Hashem decide when you need the Yeshua. Don't think that because I went to the tzaddik, I went to the and, and therefore uh, I need it right away. I have to understand that Hakadosh Baruch Hu sees the the world in large, and He's taking care of the world at large, and He understands what we, who needs what Yeshua when they need the Yeshua, and you went for your pigeon. And don't worry, in 120 years when you go up to Shemaim, they'll show you all the different things that you did. Look at all the things you benefited. Well, you helped this one, you helped that one, you helped that. I didn't know who these people were. But I called this brother and said, don't worry, you, you get credit for helping all of these people with your pigeon. Right? In other words, we just have to know that I called this brother who really is there to help everyone. And, he, and, and if, you, if you have the benefit of going for a pigeon, and rather than thinking, I didn't get my Yeshua, I didn't get my salvation right away, but know that if I just hope, and Akadosh Baruch Hu, I know you, you, you know what's right, and I know you're taking care of what has to be taken care of. Like we use the idea of the of the, of the, with the when there's a when there's a big accident and they're, they're triaging people. They they know they have to figure out what to do first. Akadosh Baruch Hu knows that because he set up everything, right? Akadosh Baruch Hu put everyone in their situations, and Amkin our, our neshamas are connected to other neshamas. 
we don't necessarily know. We don't necessarily know who we're connected to. We have no idea. Yeah. We don't understand the oil of Anishamas, right? No, none of us do. I don't think there are people alive today that really understand that. But we know that it's true. The, the, we know that the, the, the concept is there, right? The Ariza was able to tell a guy, here, I know, you're in the Shamas from this and this and that, right? That's what he did, right? The Ariza was able to go and mark every one of the graves and spots. He would walk around, like, this is this one, this is him, this is him, this is it. How did he do it? Right, is that true, Yossi? Right? Right, they made, they made a blue thing everywhere he told them. He said, this is this tzaddik, this is this, 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 this. They, <laughs> they weren't marked. They didn't know. They didn't know. But the Ariza, these are the tzaddikim. Believe in the kayach of the tzaddikim. That's really what it's about. When you believe in the kayach of the tzaddikim and you hope for HaKadosh Baruch Hu's Yeshua, sooner or later, if you hope enough and you believe in the, in, in the kayach of the tzaddik, you believe in the kayach of HaKadosh Baruch Hu that can do anything through the tzaddikim, through the pigeon alien, you'll see the Yeshua. So I want to wish everyone a wonderful day and we should hear B'Sorah Tovot.